Kevin with Crayon Law Firm. I want to tell you about damages, the money part. When it comes to litigation, that's the part that matters. Because even if you win your case, it's really about the money after that. And you need to be able to prove um, that your case warrants a higher dollar figure. My clients will often tell me they have sleepless nights, uh, impaired social functions, um, anxiety. They have a wide range of pain and suffering, including financial damages. The number one thing that I recommend to clients is that you immediately start documenting your pain and suffering. The best way to document your pain and suffering, I'm going to tell you two ways. Number one, you must see a counselor or a therapist, or a psychiatrist, or a psychologist, you must see a counselor. Number two, that counselor must connect your pain and suffering to the wrongful actions by the defendant. Uh, if it's discrimination, then you want to connect the pain and suffering and the feelings that you feel to the discriminatory acts or the wrongful acts. Moreover, if you have a physician who is prescribing you medication that you've never been prescribed before, such as anxiety medication, medication for sleeplessness, things of that nature, you need to have your physician document what the cause of this is. In other words, what caused these symptoms? You need to have your physician document that in his opinion or her opinion that it was the wrongful acts. If it's a discrimination case, then it was the discrimination that caused these ailments, these medical conditions. If you already had pre-existing conditions, then you want to show that these conditions were exacerbated. This is only if the shoe fits. If you are truly suffering from medical conditions that are caused by the wrongful acts, it's important that you get your physician to document it and that they prove that it was caused by the wrongful acts. The same thing with your counselor. Causation is key. A similar theme for damages is that you must mitigate your damage. In other words, you must lessen your damages. For instance, if you were terminated, if you go and get another job, that doesn't hurt your case. In fact, it helps your case. Because if you win your case, the employer will often use as a defense to paying you back all this back pay, they will say that you didn't go out and try to find similar employment. You didn't lessen your damages you must stop the bleeding. In other words, don't sit back and wait for your lawsuit to give you a big payday because you might not get that big payday if you were not diligent. So you must mitigate your damages. You must lessen your damages. It's a duty. It's written right there into the law. So I always recommend for clients who have been terminated or who have otherwise suffered as a result of wrongful actions that you do everything you can to lessen your damages, uh, your financial damages, and more importantly, that you be able to prove that you attempted to lessen your damages. You must show your reasonable efforts. So if you were terminated from your job, you must show that you made reasonable efforts to find reasonably similar suitable employment. Cran Law Firm, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call.